Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. And yes, I know, honey, I am giving you Rudy Huxtable teas, okay? You guys asked me not to put my wig back on so fast. Y'all was like, T, you got to do a, you know, regular commentary with your real hair. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you guys. If you guys missed the video I posted yesterday, this is my real hair without me wearing a wig. And it probably still does look like a dang on wig because there's so much hair. Unfortunately, I don't like manipulating my hair. So the most styling you'll ever get from me literally is this damn side swoop with a damn bobbin pin, okay? I don't like manipulating my hair a whole lot. So anyways, I hope you guys have your teacups ready. I hope you guys have your tea from lovelytea.net. Thank you to everybody who's been purchasing. In. I see some of y'all, honey, I already got y'all's damn tea, okay? Amazon Prime does not play. They will ship you that tea within 48 hours or less, okay? So thank you guys once again for the support. I'm glad you guys are loving the tea, you know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and spill some in y'all's lap, okay? So now, I know y'all know that I like to toot my own horn at times. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can say I'm stuck up and arrogant and, you know, I'm always patting myself on the back, but I don't give a damn, okay? Once again, Tigro Thomas strikes. Now I don't give a damn who don't like it. Anyways, I told y'all a few months ago, remember when Cardi B was talking all that shit? Whew, I'm gonna have my baby on tour. I'm gonna be dancing, I'm gonna be doing me. Ain't nothing stopping this bag, honey. Hey, and I kept telling y'all, when you have a child, things change. This woman is not going to go on tour Bruno Mars. She's not gonna be able to continue doing events throughout her pregnancy. She's swarping down. She was gonna still be doing concerts and all that shit up until she was nine months. And then she stopped doing her concerts after the Broccoli tour in DC. And then she's swarping down. She'd be ready for the Bruno Mars tour six weeks after she gave birth. I told y'all back then she was not going to go on tour Bruno Mars. A lot of y'all Barty gay members came from my damn scalp, try to snatch off my wig and told me to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up. Well now, Barty gang, I'm telling y'all to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up, cause T-Girl Thomas was damn right, okay? So if you guys do not know, back in February, Cardi B was telling everybody she was gonna be going on tour with Bruno Mars. She was supposed to be the opening act. She said that she'd be able to do this six weeks after she had her baby. And when I tell you, Cardi B went online yesterday to announce to the world that she would not be able to do the tour. T-Girl Thomas tried to tell y'all, and y'all came for her damn wig. I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what Cardi B had to say. Go ahead and check this out. So Cardi B says, as of today, I've decided I won't be joining Bruno Mars on tour this fall. I thought after giving birth to my daughter that six weeks would be enough time for me to recover mentally and physically. I also thought that I'd be able to bring her with me on tour, but I think I underestimated my whole mommy thing. Not only am I not ready physically, I'm not ready to leave my baby behind since the doctors explained it's not healthy for her to be on the road. I hope you guys understand that decision has been the hardest to make, but I have to do what's best for myself and my baby. Thank you, Bruno Mars, for being so supportive and understanding. I hate to say I told you so, but damn it, Negro Damas told you so. So I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys not one, but damn two flashbacks of me telling y'all way back then that this girl would not be ready mentally or physically to go on tour six weeks after giving birth. Go ahead and check this out, honey, okay? How you doing? So if you guys don't know, honey, Cardi B's been going through it lately. And like I told you guys before, she was not going to be able to make it through this entire summer and doing all these performances. Cardi B recently announced that, you know, her being pregnant and all this dancing and everything she went through at Coachella, it was just too much for her to the point where she felt like she couldn't even breathe. I told y'all she was doing way too much being pregnant, but y'all was saying, you know what, whatever, she's living her best life. This is a new day and age. Pregnant women can do anything okay, well, you know what? You can't ignore your body and I'm glad that Cardi B is listening to her body and not to her crazy fans who half have never been pregnant before so they're just trying to hype her up to keep acting a fool on stage. I just feel like that's definitely gonna affect her career and you know, even if she thinks she can have this baby in August and then jump on tour in September, she needs to realize your body changes a lot once you have a baby, especially if she's breastfeeding. It's gonna be very, very hard to have a baby with you on tour, especially a new baby. I don't know how she's gonna be able to handle all of that but broke I me like she took all the strength from my body and um you know doing tour with Bruno Mars you know it's like the biggest the biggest arenas and I didn't want it like to go I don't want to go on tour 
and I won't be able to dance or perform properly or not be able to get choreography right because like my body is extremely weak right now. I can't leave my baby like not for one second like it's like, you know, a lot of people keep telling me that like, you need to find a nanny because you're going to, you got to start working soon. And it's like, it's so hard because I want to be with my baby every second. Like, even when I be doing my hair in the other room, I just got to be around her. And I didn't thought that it would take so long for my body to heal. I thought six weeks was going to be good enough. No, bro. My ass is broken. <laughs> Yo, this baby broke my ass. Coach broke my ass, bro. Honey, I told y'all. So now the funny thing is Bruno Mars is also responding. He posted this today. I'm going to go ahead and read this to you guys as well. Check this out. So Bruno Mars says, most important thing is you and your family's health. I know the fans will understand. You are absolutely doing the right thing. I also know we'll share this stage when the time is right. We love you, Cardi. We will play Bodak Yellow every night in your honor. Please give your baby a hug from me and a hug on behalf of everyone on the 24K Magic Tour. Love, Bruno. Aw, that was so sweet, okay? So now I will say this. I agree 100%. Like I told you on Instagram, Cardi B is definitely doing the right thing. Granted, I'm gloating because I was right. But she's doing the right thing. She needs to put herself physically first and that baby first. The baby right now is currently under six weeks old, I believe. But even once the baby hits six weeks old, being on a tour bus, you know what I'm saying? Being around all those people, you know, it's loud. People are smoking weed. And I'm not saying they're going to be smoking weed in the baby's face. It's a lot of different energies, different people. And a tour bus is no place for a baby. Point blank, period. She needs to be at home breastfeeding and, you know, just bonding with that baby. She's gotten that bag. Her album is doing great on the chart. She's making her money. Right now, she needs to rest up and enjoy being a mother and enjoy taking care of that baby girl. So I'm glad she made this decision and that's the right decision. Just like I was happy when she decided to stop doing her concerts because she knew she was getting out of breath. She was getting more tired. At the end of the day, she has nothing else to prove. Cardi came from the damn gutter, honey. She made her way up and she's charting on the charts and she's doing her thing. So I think at this point in time, her deciding to stay home with that baby and rest it up and just, you know, bond with her child, to me, that's the most important thing. And once she's ready, once the baby's old enough and she feels comfortable letting go, then at that point, she can definitely resume the tour with Bruno Mars. So I wish her all the best. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Cardi B pulling out of the Bruno Mars tour due to her, you know, not being ready. Like I stated that she wouldn't be. You know, the thing is a lot of first-time moms or people who aren't parents, they automatically think they know everything. They think that they'll be different from, you know, everybody else. You know, my body's better. I'm younger. I'm more healthy. Whatever. At the end of the day, she's human. And she needs to rest. And she needs to let her stitches heal. And she needs to do all this stuff that comes with motherhood. And I'm glad she's taking it seriously. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.